really, really excited about what's coming forward at this development. It's going to completely transform this area for residents, for students, for businesses. It's going to become a place full of life. We're tremendously excited by it. It's, a, it's an extraordinary opportunity. It will bring new jobs for our local community. It will bring economic development. It will bring people and their families to live, to learn, to work, to enjoy the city. So the University of Brighton in its various guises has been in the city since 1859 when it was originally founded. And since that time we've evolved and in 2017-18 we'll celebrate being a university for 25 years. And we need to be agile, we need to adapt, we need to have the facilities to be able to continue the university moving forward and to continue to make that fantastic contribution as part of our city. The project is a joint redevelopment between the University of Brighton the developers you and I, and Brighton and Hove Council. Three sites along the A270 road into Brighton will be developed, creating a new gateway into the city. These include two university sites, the Watts Car Park, the Mithras Car Park, and the council-owned Preston Barracks site. The redevelopment will see the construction of 369 new homes for Brighton residents, with at least 15% being affordable housing, 1,338 student bedrooms for existing students. This new student accommodation will release hundreds of houses currently occupied by students back into the general housing stock for families. A 50,000 square foot central research laboratory, creating a high-tech space for entrepreneurs and startups. A new academic building which will be home to the University of Brighton's business school a connecting canopy creating a lively, vibrant, animated space for the enjoyment of everybody and linked to a new safe pedestrian bridge across the main road, connecting the two main areas of Mulskoon. New improved public transport and better links to Mulskoon station and a new landscape for the area with more green space. So I hope this will bring a real enhancement to the local community, to spaces, to places, to facilities. The arts offer, the cultural offer, the facilities in terms of retail that we'll be able to bring. We'll be building a gym, a new gym and fitness centre, and that will be open to the public. So I want this to be more permeable. I'd like all our neighbours to benefit as much as the university. The whole vision is about being really bold. It's about being transformative. It's about completely changing the city. This is a whole area of the city that has been underdeveloped for many, many years. And it's incredibly ambitious to be doing something this scale. It's a whole new piece of the city. This site strategically is incredibly important to Brighton that it comes forward. It's laid derelict for 20 years and it has the potential to provide new homes for families in the city, uh, also new important student accommodation to service the existing uh, student population and also provide new commercial space for the growing number of start-up and medium-sized businesses. The need in Brighton for a facility like this is, is enormous. People are desperate for some space where they can invest in their own businesses, but also invest in the community in which they work and grow together, work together. And this is future generations that we need to look after and give them somewhere to start their businesses. People are very excited about it. The development is great for Brighton and Hope. Firstly, the number of jobs that it's bringing to the city, 1,584, is just fantastic. And the economic added value is in the region of £281 million. Pounds. So it's hugely significant for Brighton and Hove. We're trying to conceive of the whole development as a much bigger sustainable concept in terms of its integration in the city, its integration into the community, providing great places for people to live which are flexible, great buildings which are adaptable, so that in 30 or 40 years time that they are still relevant and are still able to be used. So in that way you get a much longer term vision. I think this is a fantastic opportunity for the city. It's a huge £300 million investment. It will bring homes, 
it will bring socially affordable homes, it will bring student accommodation, it will enable the university to thrive, it will bring new jobs for our local community and will regenerate this area of Brighton. So this is just a fantastic opportunity to transform all of those elements and to take the university forward, which is absolutely right for where we are in our history now.